Hey guys, it's me Trigger Happy, and I'm hosting today's video. Today we're going to look at some harem anime with the main character as a transfer student. But before we get started, make sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the like button. So without further ado, let's get going. Coming in number 10 on the list, we have Seretsukai No Blade Dance. This anime has only been subbed, premiered in July 2014, having 12 episodes in the genres of action, harem, comedy, supernatural, romance, ecchi, fantasy, and school. In this anime, Seretsukai No Blade Dance takes place at a very prestigious school for holy shrine princesses, called Arishia Spirit Academy. At this school, the girls train to be elementalists and try to form slave contracts with spirits, so that they can complete in battles against one another. Only females have this privilege, at least until now. Kamito Kazehaya is a normal guy in pretty much all respects, except for the fact that he's the first man in 1000 years to be able to form a contract with a spirit, which he stole from the Shrine Princess named Claire Rogue. Additionally, the headmaster of the school, Greyworth, has summoned him to enroll and is forcing him to participate in a special tournament that will take place two months down the road. With Claire demanding that he become a contract with spirit, Will Kamito even manage to survive the entire two months until the tournament takes place? Coming in number 9 on the list, we have Rail Wars. This anime has only been subbed, premiered in July 2014, having 12 episodes in the genre of action, harem, police, and ecchi. In this anime, Naoto Takayama's spies become an employee for Japan National Railways because of the comfortable life that will enable him to live. In order to accomplish this, he enters his training program where students must demonstrate their knowledge of trains and as well as their ability to be ready for any challenge that might arise. During this time period, he will encounter other students such as the athletically gifted Ayusukura, the constantly hungry Sho Iwazumi, and the human encyclopedia Haruka Kumi. Together, they will work towards surviving the trainee period, all the while taking on purse snatchers, bomb threats, and the other looming specter of extremists, RG group, who wants to privatize the railway system. Coming in number 8 on this, we have Absolute Duo. This anime has been dubbed, premiered in January 2015, having 12 episodes in the genres of action, comedy, supernatural, ecchi, school, and shonen. In this anime, individuals who can materialize weapons from their souls are called blazers, and they attend Curio Academy High School in order to harness their abilities. Each student is required to partner with another, in the hopes that one day, the pair can attain the power of Absolute Duo. Turo Kokonoe hopes to attend his academy in order to gain the power after his sister and friends were slain by a mysterious man. However, at the opening ceremony, he is forced to duel against the person sitting next to him, with the loser being expelled. As Turo prepares to give this master's all, it is not a weapon that manifests from his soul, but a shield and irregularity, which catches the attention of a foreign student named Julie Sigtuma. Coming in number 7 on the list, we have Campione. This anime has been dubbed, premiered in July 2012, having 13 episodes in the genres of comedy, ecchi, fantasy, harem, magic, and romance. In this anime, some people suddenly find religion, but for 16-year-old Kusunagi Goto, it's that really old-time religion that's found him. As a result of defeats in the God of War and Mortal Kombat, Goto is stuck with the unwanted position of Campione, or God Slayer whose duty it is to find heretical gods whenever they try to muscle in a local turf. Not only is this likely to make Goto roadkill in the highway to heaven, it's also a job that comes with a lot of other problems, like how to deal with the fact that his enhanced status is attracting a fair view of other worshipping female followers. After all, he's just there to aid him in his demigod duties, right? So why is it that their leader, the demonically manipulative swordmistress Erika Blandelli, seems to have such a devilish interest in encouraging some very unorthodox activities? Get ready for the immortal affairs, heavenly harems, and lots of other dueling deities taking prayers in the face of an ultimate smash, bash, and thrash of the titans rock both heavens and earth. Coming in with 6 on the list, we have Demon King Daimo. This anime has been dubbed, premiered in April 2010, having 12 episodes in the genres of action, harem, comedy, magic, ecchi, fantasy, and school. In this anime, dreaming of changing the world for the good, Akuto's side transfers to Constant Magic Academy, where he befriends a virtuous ninja clan member, Junko Hattori. On the way to the academy, they vow to make the world a better place together. However, as the situation suddenly takes a turn for the worse upon his arrival, it is prophesied that he will become the next Demon King. As words of his destiny spreads, the school begins to fear him, and Junko's trusted in falters. While Akuto is determined to not let his predicted future control his fate, 
it seems as though everything he says and does only serves to reinforce the fact that he is destined to be a demon king. Moreover, he is surrounded by a harem of beautiful girls who each have their own plans for him, ranging from bringing him to justice to simply showering him with love. With the newly awakened powers, Akutu must cope with his constantly growing list of misfortune and fight to prove that his fate is not set in stone. Coming at number 5 on us, we have Gakusen Toshi Asterix. This anime has been dubbed, premiered in October 2015, having 24 episodes in the genres are action, comedy, ecchi, fantasy, harem, romance, school, sci-fi, and supernatural. In this anime, Ayutu Amagiri is a scholarship transfer student at the prestigious Sayadukan Academy, which has recently been suffering from declining performances. Through a series of events, he accidentally sees a popular witch of resplendent flames, Julius Alexia von Reisfeld. Half-dressed, enraged, Julius challenges him to a duel for intruding on her privacy. After said duel is voided by the student council president, Ayatsu reveals that he has no interest in Festus. Instead, he has enrolled in the academy to investigate the whereabouts of his messing elder sister. But, when a more devious plot unravels, Ayatsu sets out to achieve victory while being surrounded by the most talented Janastella on the planet. Coming in number 4 on the list, we have Princess Lover. This anime has been dubbed, premiered at July 2009, having 12 episodes in the genres of harem, comedy, ecchi, and school. In this anime, following an automobile accident that acclaims life as his parents, Tepe Arima is taken in by his grandfather and introduced to the world of the rich and the elite. Compared to his humble upbringing, Ishin Arima's lavish lifestyle surprises and stuns the young teenager. In return for his gracious hospitality, Tepe is expected to continue the family business by replacing his grandfather as the head of the Arima Financial Combine and to prepare him for these responsibilities, he is enrolled into an esteemed high school along with his recently acquired celebrity status and influence. Tepe is informed of an arranged marriage with the equally prosperous Sylvia von Hessen, thus beginning the thrilling escapades of his new life. Coming in number 3 on the list, we have Showman Sample. This anime has been dubbed Premier Act October 2015, having 12 episodes in the genres of comedy, ecchi, harem, romance and school. In this anime, Kimito Kagurazaka is a commoner with the fetish for men's muscles, or at least that's why he must keep telling himself if he wants to keep himself out of trouble at the elite all-girls school, Saiken Academy. Kidnapped by the school under the assumption that he prefers men, Kimito is made to be their commoner's sample, exposing the girls both commoner and man so that the transition to the world of the school is not jarring. Threatened with castration, should his sexual preference not match the school's assumptions, Kimito keeps up the facade to protect his manhood. But there are eccentric individuals around every corner who begins to make Kimito's life even more difficult. Among them are Aika Tenkubashi, a social outcast who blurts out whatever comes to mind, Hakuya Shinodome, a young genius, Karin Shinjiro, the daughter of samurai who is obsessed with defeating Kimito, and Raiko Arisogawa, the perfect student who has delusions of marrying Kimito. Coming in number 2 on the list, we have Unlimited Fafnir. This anime has only been subbed, premiered at January 2015, having 12 episodes in the genres of fantasy, harem, romance, and school. In this anime, Midgar, All Girl Academy, would have been notable just for the action of accepting its first and only male student, Yu Mononobe. But Midgar stands out for much more than that. It's a school exclusive to a group of girls known as Ds. Each of them have extremely powerful abilities in generating dark matter and manipulating it into powerful weaponry. The Ds didn't exist 25 years ago, and only appeared after a number of mysterious destructive monsters known as dragons started appearing around the world. Strangely, just as suddenly as they appeared, they vanished. In the destructive wake, some girls started being born with symbols in their bodies and powers similar in nature to those wielded by the dragons themselves. And finally, coming in number one list, we have the Fruit of Grisaya. This anime has only been subbed, premiered in October 2014, having 13 episodes in the genres of drama, harem, psychological, romance, and school. In this anime, Yuji Kazami is a transfer student who had just been admitted into Mihama Academy. He wants to live an ordinary high school life, but this dream of his may not come true anytime soon, as Mihama Academy is quite the opposite, consisting of only the principal and five other students, all of whom are girls, Yuji becomes acquainted with each of them. Discovering more about their personalities and socialization is inevitable. Slowly, he begins to learn about the truth beyond the small group of students occupying the academy. They each have their own share of traumatic experiences which are tucked away from the world. Mahama Academy acts as the home for these girls. They are the fruits which fell from the trees and have begun to decay. It is up to Yuji to become the catalyst to save them from themselves. But how can he save another when he can't even save himself? 